Hello, I am at the Horseshoe Tavern in Toronto with none other than Gavin Gardner from the Wooden Sky. Hello, are you alright? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah. How's your, like, your mini tour going in? It's good. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's a neat way to tour because you get to go home and relax and you never quite get into the full tour like uh, exhaustion cycle yeah. but at the same time you don't quite get into the like I was saying earlier like that excitement sort of like cowboys riding on the wind kind of yeah. thing a friend of mine and I were chatting about touring and it's like you sort of get to live like pirates in a strange way you know uh, you know you're just like moving from town to town you're always like always kind of somewhere exciting maybe not always somewhere exciting sometimes you're going to bed just kidding going to bed uh yeah, I don't know, it's fun. So the mini tour is going good, and Dustin has been awesome. So yeah, it's been fun. yeah. They sound really good. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. So you're kind of like land pirates. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I picture us to be kind of like Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers in that music video where they're like dressed in like cyber pirate Oh, outfits. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy it reminded me of these books I read when I was in uh, junior high called the Turbo, Turbo Cowboys. You ever read those? No. It's like this post-apocalyptic... Uh, motorcycle gang of teenagers that like learn how to fix motorcycles and they have to like salvage it from like wreckage essentially and there's only a few communities left in the desert. That sounds so awesome. It was pretty funny. I read. need to read those. Yeah, I mean they're like, I think I read them when I was in grade four or five, so they're kids books. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. Well, it's been like, I guess your favorite show on this, on this tour? So far. Kingston was really, they've all been pretty good actually. Yeah. So every child, a daughter, every woman, um, yeah. came out in 2012. Yeah. So what have you been Well, we, that's a good question. We, uh, we toured for like nine months in 2012. It was pretty crazy. Um, and then when we came home, kind of just like, just wanted to stop for a bit, you know, but I had been building a studio at my house for the last, well, I started in 2011, yeah. but then we were touring so much, so we came back and that was what we all, the, the guys helped me out actually, and mm -hmm. we put together the studio space, and then we started working on a new record right away, so we yeah. did, we decided to work like almost like a full-time job, like three days a week, we'd all get together and work in the studio, and so the last year I spent making the new record, and we just finished it. Uh, so, yeah, that's about that, yeah. yeah. So like, what was like... The process of going into the studio, well, doing another record. It was, uh, we decided to do this record in Toronto, but then the last two records in Montreal. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to try to capture the feeling, sort of like the live show sound on a record. It's a hard, it's a hard thing to do, you know? Yeah. And part of that is because we, the songs take on a new life when you play them in front of an audience, and you learn the intricacies of the music. And that's not, just, not necessarily to say that it's better live always you, know, you lose some of the subtleties in that too yeah. but that was what we were going for so we ended up using the studio and making like probably three generations of demos on each song at least and so we'd make a demo then we booked a small tour last March yeah. just to go out and play like a handful of the new songs in front of people to actually play them live yeah. and then we came back and we recorded all those shows too and we came back and made more demos yeah. Did you get like a lot of good reactions? Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun, yeah. It was neat, it's, I don't know, it's just neat to see people be excited to hear new music, you know. Yeah. It can be, excuse me, it can be hard, you know, when you're coming to see a show. Yeah. You don't necessarily always want to just hear brand new songs you want to hear. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, we kind of are trying to mix it in, but, you know, at some point, for us, for our sanity, we just want to play new songs. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love the idea of going to a concert, hearing songs that you want to hear, yeah. you love, and hearing some new songs, yeah. seeing how the, the audience reacts to that. Yeah. yeah. So cool. It's been it's been cool to see how the audience reacts. Yeah. So like, how, what could people expect from the new record? Well, if they've seen us play live, then they might have a better idea. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely. It's a more upbeat record. I, 
wouldn't say it's like more upbeat than the lyrical content necessarily. Yeah. You know, there's still that dichotomy of the lyrics and the music, which I think is a really cool thing too, actually, to see the balance between the sounds and the words. I mean, that's a pretty obvious thing to say. Yeah. I write, so. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty, it's like, it sounds pretty badass, kind of. Yeah. I don't know if that's a fair thing for me well, to say. The, you know, the last album sounded pretty badass. All right, well, thank you. It's pretty different than that, you know? It's like, I really like the last album a lot, still, yeah. you know? And But we wanted to do something totally different. Yeah. And so it's like, I mean, there's still those moments on, on there. And... I think that's hard. you know when you're making anything it's hard because you're second guessing yourself all the time yeah. and like am I making the right decision here about this I could because when you're making something from nothing you know it could be anything it's pretty hard yeah. so well it's hard it's yeah. also hard to decide just what you want it to well, yeah, be yeah what direction you know? like yeah. yeah and with, with the guys that I that we the guys in the band are so talented that we that they could do anything you know yeah. I think again <laughs> I'm biased because I don't play with them, but I just feel like, I guess what I mean is, we're not, we don't have to specific, do one specific thing, so it's really a decision, like we're going to yeah. go down this road and we're going to try to do that all the way, yeah. and then you got to hope to God made the right decision, but at the end of the day, it's like, I want to make something that I want to listen to, yeah. you know? So could you do this with like, kind of like any... Information about it, yeah. Or is that like top secret? Top secret. <laughs> uh, well, we just finished it like like last week, and it was a laborious process to get this fucking yeah. done. Uh, it's gonna come out in the fall, I think. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I don't know what else I can tell you really. <laughs> that's that's all. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. You're gonna hear some songs tonight. Oh yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited for people to hear it. You know, I've been living with it for so long now. Yeah. But it was interesting because in the past we've always recorded like 15 to 16, sometimes 18 songs for the record, and then cut it down to 13 or 14. Yeah. And this time we were like, we're making a, song, a record that's like nine songs max. And the record's yeah. it's 10 songs. But like we just worked on 10 songs, and when we were done the studio in the studio, the first round, we only had eight songs, and I was like, fuck, I need to write some more songs. I have a lot of songs that aren't finished, but I wrote it, the last song on the record is probably one of my favorite songs I've ever written, and it's, uh, I just, I don't know, I just sort of sat down and wrote it, and wrote it, and wrote it, just kept working, like I'd bike to the studio, I'd be riding on my, riding on my bike, riding in my head, get to the studio, go up on the roof, yeah. play the guitar while everyone was setting up, working on the song, and then I made a demo and gave it to the guy, and everyone liked it, and so we just wrote it. That's how we never played live, we sort of like went for it, you know? Yeah. So what is your like, what is your take on the Canadian music scene at the moment? Or like, more specifically because it's like, Canada's huge. Yeah. Um, like the Montreal and the Toronto music scene. It's pretty exciting to me. It's interesting because when we first started making records, I had, was part of one group of friends that were all making records. And now some of them are, and some of them aren't, and some of them are doing different things. Yeah. And I'm starting to meet new, more and more new people. Like this past year has been really great for me to be in Toronto because we've been on the road so much for the last few years that you start to lose touch with people that live in the city because, yeah. you know, people, I don't blame people for moving on and making new friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would do the same. Um, so it's just been, but it's been neat to come back and see like all these new bands and new sounds and it's exciting. Yeah. Like, we just we worked on this uh, compilation called Milk in It, which was a Nirvana tribute compilation. Yeah. It was us and this band called Grays that curated it together. And it was just so cool to see how many talented, amazing bands there are in the city that would be willing to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah. And it's so diverse. I, I mastered the record. And uh, when I was working on it, I was just like, this song sounds totally different than this song, but they're both great in their own way. You know? yeah. And I think that's pretty cool that there's not like a sense of, I don't know what, it, what the word is exactly, but, you know, people are okay with the fact that, that there's a blurred line between the genres, you know, yeah. like someone making some super noisy rock, or maybe not even rock, like sludge, or yeah. just like no ex experimental noise, compared to what we do, which is very song-based, it's neat to see that there's a mutual appreciation, and like, I love that kind of music, you it, know? It's, it's pretty cool, like. 
with me like going out to shows and stuff. Yeah. Every year. We try to go perform once a week. Yeah. That's my goal. And uh, to sing all the opening bands and they're so different but they're all so great. Yeah. And, like, it's yeah, well that's really the thing, I mean cool. like you, if everything was the same it would be a pretty shitty world yeah, to live yeah. in, you know. <laughs> and sometimes you know, there's a fear of like, oh, this is too different than that. But why? Like, it's so cool that it could be. As long as nobody gets a complex about it, where you're like, oh, I wish I could do more. Like, you know, I just try to take what I like, whatever band that I love, and absorb it and use it. Yeah, exactly. So what new music are you listening to? Uh, well, I gotta get better at listening to new music. I yeah. think. But I've been listening to lots of that new Warren Drugs record. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that's a good record. Yeah, I love that. yeah, yeah. I don't have, like, I, for some reason my vinyl copy didn't come with the download code, and so I'm listening to it all the time on my turntable. Yeah, yeah. But because it's a double LP, it's only like two songs per side, so I end up listening to the same songs over and over again, because I'm too lazy to flip the record. So it's kind of a nice way to get into the record, you know, because yeah. I really get to know each song. You need a jukebox. I get to so just listen and flips yeah. itself over. That's what I want. That's yeah. That's a good idea. Or like take one from like a 60s time. <laughs> dress up like a, I don't know, a service man or a janitor and say, I'm going to take a yeah. piece of I haven't seen too many places that even have them anymore. No. It's There's a 7 inch jukebox at uh, the red light, I think. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. It's 45s. It's pretty cool. So, last question. So, what? As a van, like, what has been your favourite moment of being a wooden sky? I guess so, like... I mean, there's so many different things that yeah, could yeah. be, you know? It's like, sometimes it's really nice when people come up to me and tell me about how they connected to a certain song. But you know, there's also like, oh, well, the first time we ever played in Paris, it's like, wow, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. Or like, I remember the first time we went on tour, uh, like a real tour, you know? That was pretty exciting. I mean, every tour has, been, has it had its own merit. Yeah. Like the first couple tours that we did, Wyatt and I booked them all ourselves. You know, we played really? like in the shittiest places. And we just where we play wherever they would have us, you know? And then we went on. 2009, Elliot Brood took us out on tour and opened for them, and I remember that feeling. It's like, oh, maybe we can do this. You know, yeah, there's something we can do. It's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Well, thank you so much. Hey, That's thank you. you. Thank you. I can't wait until your show. It's gonna be, it's gonna be your dance show. It's gonna be. After, I hope so. Yeah. It's a song out show. So. There'll be some energy. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So, okay. Goodbye.